Marshall STG have been given the project to convert a vehicle to remote control. The project requirement was to convert a Land Rover. The requirement stated that the vehicle is to be capable of driving at speeds up to 40 mph and with real-time, accurate maneuvering and control. This video shows how this has been achieved. A standard military Land Rover was converted from manual to automatic transmission. The major subsystems and components of the conversion consisted of a Cobham Domo communications package. A GPS system was fitted for vehicle positioning and tracking. Optical cameras are fitted front and rear with the forward-looking camera assembly also having two sideways-looking cameras to assist with situation awareness and negotiating road junctions. For safety, an emergency stop system is fitted. The system applies the brakes and cuts the engine whenever any of the e-stop buttons are pressed. Also for safety and to assist with collision avoidance, a laser sensor is fitted to the front of the vehicle and calibrated to apply the vehicle brakes when an obstacle is detected between 5 and 20 meters in front, depending on road speed. The foot brake is operated by a spring-on, power-off hydraulic actuator. This was arranged so that in the event of an electrical or hydraulic power failure or e-stop, the system fails safe with the brakes on. An electrical actuator operates the accelerator pedal in response to demand inputs from the console. Steering is via a remote steering adapter attached permanently behind the normal vehicle steering wheel. The automatic gear selector is operated via an electrical actuator according to the gear position selected on the console. The electronics, processors and relays for the operation of the vehicle control interfaces are contained in the vehicle control and power module. The hydraulic unit fitted in the rear of the vehicle supplies hydraulic power to the brake actuator and has sufficient redundant capability to operate additional hydraulic equipment if required. The command console is configured so that the operator is in the normal driving position. The steering wheel and foot pedals are linked to the vehicle and give the operator instant real-time feedback from the vehicle's steering and foot pedals. The LCD screen gives the operator a high-quality, selectable, wide-angle view from the front, rear or side view cameras. The dashboard controls give accurate and instant real-time feedback from the Land Rover as it's being driven. Gears, lights, indicators, wipers, etc. are accessed from the control box to the right-hand side of the driver's position. The e-stop allows the operator to stop the vehicle quickly in an emergency. The command console seating position and all the vehicle controls are the same as the actual vehicle. This enables any competent driver to use the system with a minimum of training. To demonstrate the ease of lane changing, the vehicle starts off with smooth acceleration and control. At the given command, the vehicle accurately and smoothly changes lane. To demonstrate control response and minimum video latency, an obstacle course using four standard road bollards has been set up. The vehicle is to weave through the obstacles in a deliberate and controlled way without touching any of the bollards. As the vehicle approaches the bollards, the driver, using only visual cueing from the onboard cameras, positions the vehicle to approach and pass the first bollard on the right. the driver continues through the obstacle course to negotiate a safe, controlled and deliberate route through the bollards.
The vehicle is fitted with a collision avoidance laser sensor. And in this test, a standard road traffic bollard is used to demonstrate the sensitivity and effectiveness of the equipment. As the vehicle approaches the obstacle, the laser sensor detects the bollard at 5 meters and stops the vehicle automatically. The vehicle is to be capable of driving at convoy speeds of up to 40 mph with real-time, accurate maneuvering and control. The Land Rover is easily driven across country and here the operator demonstrates its ability to be controlled over virtually any terrain. This demonstrates the flexibility of the remote control and shows how easy it is to drive the vehicle from the command console. This trial has proved that it is possible to easily convert a vehicle to remote control and to drive the vehicle from a remote command console mounted in another vehicle. The vehicle controls in the command console have real-time feedback to allow the operator to have the same feel as driving the actual vehicle. The steering, gear changing and braking is precise and accurate, allowing the vehicle to maneuver safely and accurately while carrying out a variety of tasks. The test vehicle was easily converted, and more importantly, the vehicle conversion may be applied to any suitable vehicle. Due to the ergonomic layout and design of the command console, operator training can be kept to a minimum. Overall, the trial was a great success and demonstrated the ability of our highly motivated team to convert a vehicle to remote control with real-time feedback to the driver in a purpose-built command console. This remote control capability will enhance the operational load carrying and deployment of countermeasure equipment in the front line.